Yeah, and uh, last thing, yeah, last thing I want to do is is give Chemex any sort of opportunity to, to work with, you know, to, to take those stocks away. Three, two, one, go. Ooh, oh, <laughs> match, uh, match has started, and 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 that's a uh, had a home attack for, 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 for their troubles. Yeah, and I mean, that's just not quite something you can react to. Homing attack is just so fast in this game. And I really, that almost feels like a statement for Kamex, you know, setting the pace. Like, I'm going to get in and I'm going to frustrate you so you try to hit me. And when you try to hit me, you're going to get whiff punished for it. So we're going to see if PK Chris can keep up that uh, patience and... You know, keep keep the Sonic away. Yeah, let's. I I am curious to quite, uh, uh, see how it goes. Uh, so far, uh, Chemex is being far more uh, uh, aggressive in this matchup, as, uh, as you said, and uh, and, he, and he's also quite, getting those hits in with, with the whips. Up, oh, but Chemex uh, quite, did manage quite, to take the first stock away from from Chris. Yep, and that is kind of where. Uh, one of the cruxes of this matchup is is you know if pk chris isn't able to set up that wall like we saw in the steelix set then you know camex is going to have a pretty free time edge guarding but speaking of pk chris getting an edge guard of his own at taking camex's first stop what are you coming in with buttons for back air oh. sonic back air is a little bit bigger Ooh. Yeah, and we are seeing the lack of care in uh, in Kamex in, in terms of what he thinks about uh, PK Chris's options, but but uh, PK Chris over here is is trying to make him respect. Ooh, not uh, able to punish. That's so unfortunate. Ooh, Kamex, I think was wasn't quite sure what side PK Chris would land on, but there we go, getting the uh, anti-air up smash. Ooh, let's see. So. I, so, I don't know about that F smash. That was a hopeful F smash. Yeah, I had I had to really respect the uh, Kamex's uh, confidence here as, as far as both approaching and and pretty much uh, answering to P P Chris's options. All right. So let's see. You know, Kamex just really trying to keep his space, but getting a little bit too aggressive there. PK Chris going to be getting a drag down forward air into a back throw. Not going to be taking it quite yet. You know, no rage yet. PK Chris trying to keep the Sonic out with a dash attack, but just a little bit mistimed. And there we go. Not even able to punish the homing attack on parry. Ooh. Kamex just, you know, chilling at the other end of the stage, really trying to frustrate PK Chris. Because when you do that, you can make PK Chris, you know, with some options that he really shouldn't be going for. Me? Oh, I like the idea by Camax. But unfortunately, just didn't quite uh, pan out. Not able to hit PK Chris with the back air. Yeah. And, w and what's, even, what's even better is, is that the, the back air from Sonic uh, managed to get eaten up uh, by Ness's yo-yo. Uh, uh, A consistent hitbox. All right. Still keeping PK Chris in disadvantage right now. Another back air. I didn't see Ooh. if PK Chris lost his jump somewhere, but I'm guessing he did because that is a dead ness. I I believe the the spring managed to actually shorten the uh, sh shorten the, the length of of, yep. of, of, the, of B. That was that was uh, Camex's plan right there. Which good stuff to him. Yeah, it at. Yeah, uh, it actually. So as you can see here, the, the spring is going to get dropped down, and then just as he, he tries to up B. Yep. Yeah, because of, because of the, the spring actually interfered, it actually shortened the length of that uh, that up B, which is good stuff on 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 Camex there and Absolutely. and and now we, we are going to uh F, fd with, with his banger boss music yep Coming back in and we're gonna see if <clears throat> how this uh counter pick helps pk chris which i feel like it absolutely will be helping pk chris because we've seen Camex do such a good job of camping when it comes to 
you know, having those, um, the, the platforms on the side. Whereas now, the only thing standing between Kamex and center stage is Ness's huge disjointed multi-hits. And we can already see that paying out in uh, a really good uh, percent lead coming out for PK Chris. Yes, but but this but this is a a, a favorite a favorite uh, pick for for um, for Sonic players all alike when when it comes to uh, FD. So this of course, this could also be an advantage of course, for for Kamex as well. Ooh, but a little bit too aggressive with the homing attack is going to get PK Chris the first stock. Still sitting at relatively early percents for his uh, Ooh, first nice conversion. Oh, but. But the sneak attack on, on, on that home attack uh, uh, managed to uh, uh, land some damage. I see right now, putting Kamex back off stage again. I like the use of the PK Thunder too to get PK Chris back into center stage. Mm -hmm. Keep keep some distance away from uh, from Sonic's uh, uh, burst option, e even on ledge. Oh, that was a nice hop there uh, by Kamex. Yep, neutral air, not going to be taking it yet. Kimmix has to work a little bit harder, and that's Ooh. really where this counter pick is helping Chris so much, is Kamex now, without a lead, Kimmix has to get in, and with no platforms to help facilitate that, you can even see Chris camping on the other side of the stage. Chris says, I know you want to get in. What are you going to do about that against, like, a, a dash attack or a forward air? You're going to try and run in grab? You're just dying for it. PK Chris knows that KMX wants to get in. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually a, 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 a fairly good point that, that, that you mentioned now. And and yeah, it is, and currently it is actually working in, in PK Chris's uh, favor. Ooh, almost getting the second PK fire, but KMX springing his way out, but still not able to get out, out of the way of the uh, PK Thunder. Maybe right now, no, unfortunately, out of percentage to get any follow-up out of the spin oh, charge. Oh, up B. What? And man, that's got to be so frustrating for Kamex. Yeah, you, you, you can see uh, Kamex is a uh, little, little unfazed at that, but, but equally frustrated. Yep, now Kamex finally with a stock on the board, but three minutes to do so, only four left on the clock. That is, you know, so much mental energy that it takes to it takes to get this. But if we can finally start seeing now that PK Chris is out of those really high percentages, we can start seeing some oh. more of these true combos. Uh, getting PK Chris some uh, edge guard <laughs> situations, and as we can see, Kamex, I think that was a zero to death. I think so. Yeah. Uh, that. That definitely did alleviate uh, some sort of pressure from Kamex, but he just needs to uh, uh, really even oh, out the uh, uh, closing the gap, uh, per se, with, uh, with with PK Ness. I mean PK Chris. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see, Kamex once again trying to pick and choose his openings, but gets caught by the dash attack. Oh no way! You still got <laughs> hit by that. Oh okay, so. So when Kamex okay, did the the home attack, he managed to hit the the, the back end of the, of, of, of the nair. Back hit of the neutral air. That was so cursed looking. Oh man, you 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 really hate to see it. Target target locked on sight. We got it. We got him, boys. But then the deceptiveness, the dishonesty. <laughs> From a child, very dishonest. That's literally the first active frame of that nair, by the way. Because look, that's, oh, you're that's right. the frame right before. Oh, but the Ooh. pose. Boom. Uh, oh, but the pose, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we can see that Kalos was uh, Kamex's pick, which I... definitely, I think, suits Sonic in this matchup. Those I... platforms going to be given so much leniency in Kamex's uh, camping, but not if he can't get away from PK Chris. Yeah, and match match just started under like under, under like 25 seconds and already uh, his life was already taken. Uh, if if he hasn't yet, he uh, Kamex may need to respect the uh, uh, PK Chris's uh, disjointed hitboxes a, li a little more. Because I think it's slowly killing him. 
Yep. Mm. So, seeing some even percentages right now, but Kamek's still a full stock behind. He's not going to be able to quite rely on those, um, on that camping as much as he probably would have liked coming into this game three. You know, despite having all the world, all the room in the world to run around, you're going to have to get in on this child real quick to get get this kill and get yourself back in the game. Mm -hmm. All right, looking for a two frame right there with the F smash, but not finding it. PK Chris finding his way back into center. Ooh. Oh, I think uh, that's a jumpless Kamex. He will be making it back because PK Chris is on the other side of the stage. But I mean, so much damage being racked up right now while Kamex finally able to get kill one. Now let's see if, if he can do the, quote, the same zero to death as, uh, as before. Because if he can, of course, that would put him up, put him in the lead. <clears throat> All right, you can let's see Kamex just trying Kamek. to take his time getting in, trying to find those openings the way we saw in game two. He really got that Im that important opening. Yeah, really trying to, quote, to, 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 to mix it up. You can see he's... He, they're, they're trying to set up that same conditioning that they had in game one, where it's like, I want to weave in and out, get you to press buttons. And like we saw right there, PK Chris came down with a back air, got put off stage for his troubles. Yeah. And that patience is starting to pay out for Camex. Already getting some great percentage, almost looking to clean out the stock right there, but getting a little bit too aggressive that time. Yeah, the uh, this, despite his best efforts, uh, uh, Kamex uh, managed to lose his life uh, to a pancake, the uh, uh, back air. Kamex looking to close things out right there. That oh, might have been a poke. shield poke. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah, it did look, look, look to be a, a shield poke. But still not enough to take Chris's next oh. stock. And now having to find his way into... Um, Having to find his way into the, uh, the the Kalos platform area. Oh, mm. yeah, forward throw definitely not going to be doing it just yet. But you are potentially setting up for an edge guard situation. Committing to the spring a little bit too early it means PK Chris has another lease at life. And down throw definitely not killing anyone ever. Nope. <laughs> Try to do the same trick as he did in game one, but but, but PK PK Chris managed to uh, make it back on onto the edge. Yep, and let's Ooh, see. Good spacing. It is looking real rough for Kamex right now if he's not able to find this kill ASAP, and instead it's going to be Chris finding the kill. Hmm? A 2 1. Once again, it was a situation where Home Attack looked like it was going to connect clean, but. Uh, instead, ran into the yo yo. Ness, Ness is definitely a, a very slippery character. <laughs> Uh, yeah, oh, let's see here. Yeah, th th that that up smash ma managed to uh, kill. Oh, but I wonder, I wonder if we can get the 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 very last uh, uh, kill from uh, from PA Chris. Let's see. That was where Kamex was really starting to find his momentum, but then that kick. <laughs> yeah, just got a little bit too aggressive, and I oh. I feel like that just shook them oh, a little bit go. too much. So here we go. Once again, on target, target on site, but no. uh, <laughs> just a no. Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> yep, so very unfortunate for Camax. Uh, we, we got him this time, boys. No. <laughs> Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> All right. So next up, 